Hi guys and welcome once again to the channel. My name is Sam Evans and this is The Electric Singularity. Thank you for the support and for watching the videos. Guys, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel or just like the videos, that's if you like them. Guys, if you have any questions or comments about the cars or about the tech, I'll do my best to provide you with an answer. Just pop your comment in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now, Subaru has just announced its first fully electric vehicle called the Subaru Solterra. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. Solterra, Solterra. Anyway, the Subaru Solterra is Subaru's first electric SUV and it's going to be all wheel drive, as you would expect from Subaru. Subaru has revealed details on the new first all electric model. And if you were worried there wouldn't be enough EV SUVs around to choose between them, the Subaru Solterra should settle those concerns. The new name is a combination of the Latin word for sun and earth, the automaker says, in a nod to its commitment to deliver traditional SUV capabilities in an environmentally responsible package. Now guys, let's face facts. Subaru doesn't give two shits about the environment. Obviously, they've missed the boat by a number of years there and they're jumping on the bandwagon. Hey, that's not a bad thing. The more automakers that jump on the bandwagon as quickly as possible, the better it is for the planet and the better it is for us as consumers. Now, this is, of course, pretty much what every automaker says about their new electric vehicles, that they're trying to save the world. And really, eventually, that's what will happen. But what could make the Subaru Solterra special is the eSubaru global platform that it debuts. It's the handiwork of a collaboration between Subaru and Toyota. Subaru contributed its experience with its all-wheel drive, while Toyota brought the electrification part to the recipe. Or, who knows, maybe BYD brought that part. We'll find out soon. We should see the Solterra launch in 2022, across the US, Canada, China, Europe and Japan, but reportedly not in Australia. Subaru is tight-lipped on just what to expect from eSubaru, though we do have some prior knowledge. On Toyota's side, the architecture is known as ETNGA, and it's designed from the outset to be especially flexible. Toyota, for example, is talking about using it for front, rear, and all-wheel drive configuration. Only a handful of dimensions are fixed. The length and width of the motors, for example, and the battery pack, which is mounted under the cabin. Everywhere else, including front and rear overhangs, overall vehicle width, and wheelbase, there's flexibility to adjust size depending on the requirement of segment, cabin space, and room for cargo. This is a smart platform, I think. Now, Toyota plans to tap that flexibility for a whole series of EVs, not just the C-segment SUVs that both it and Subaru have confirmed are on the roadmap. For Subaru so far, only the Solterra has been announced. It also seems likely, given the brand's reputation for oil drive, that it'll skip any front or rear wheel drive versions. What isn't certain is that Subaru is on board with the idea that electrification is the future. And it is. Back in January 2020, Subaru predicted that by mid-2030, it would be building electric vehicles only. And that's a long way away, and if it takes them that long, I predict they'll go bankrupt. But I'm guessing it won't. I'll have to pivot much sooner than that. Still to be confirmed about this first example of Subaru's EV strategy are details like power and range, not to mention pricing. In the US, Subaru is still at the start of its federal tax credits for EVs, relatively speaking, given currently it only offers FEVs, not full electric models in its range. Now, in theory, that could help take some of the sting out of any price premium that the new electric platform might demand. However, We'll know more about this as the Solterra gets closer to launch and as the new Biden administration announces a change to EV incentives in America, which I believe are likely to only benefit US made cars, which, let's be honest, probably makes sense. Then it would give more of an advantage to brands like Tesla or GM versus Subaru. Anyhow, I'm excited for this new Subaru. Guys, what do you think of it? Do you think it's a good? Do you think Subaru are really doing the right thing here? How do you feel about the way Subaru has approached electrification? 
Guys, thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate your support. Have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.